Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys, wherever you are in the beautiful world. Whenever you're watching this YouTube video, welcome to the Bitcoin Family YouTube channel for the newcomers. My name is Didi. Let's quickly jump into some charts and show you what happening, what is happening to Bitcoin and what we can expect for the beautiful Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday of this week. Let's quickly jump into the first chart over BAM here. This is the first chart. There's no chart, Didi. This is the chart. On this chart, guys, this is the four hour chart. On this four hour chart, I already drew a couple of yellow lines, I think in the last video that we made. And in that last video, I told you guys, yes, there's three options for Bitcoin. The first one, we come down, we go up, bam. That one is not happening, delete. Then we have the second one, we come down below and then retest that dotted white line and then go in again and do that, bam. That one is not happening. Now, we have the third option. We come down, we come up, we retest that dotted line, and then we go down again to fill that gap around 20k, 21k, 500 or something in that area. This could still happen, but also Bitcoin is Bitcoin, and we can have a very volatile and bullish weekend ahead. So look here, we saw a huge red candle with a large wick, another red candle, another red candle, smaller red candle, and then again, green push all the way up into that next channel. So yes, this could be that candle. We could form another red candle and then some green candles pushing up again. All of that is possible. So in Bitcoin at the moment, it's difficult to say what is happening, but we can see there's a huge gap of volume over here where we could go uh, to fill up another long. And um, But if we stay bullish, then we will stay above fair, that line, which touched that one time, two time, almost here, three time, and now again, four time. So if we keep that line, then we could make that other move as well, of course. Um, if you want to see the indicator, yes, the indicator told you to short at that point, and that was a beautiful short, candle closing down below the yellow stepping line, a lot of blue coming in, a short there, the blue line crossing the white line, so it could have been a beautiful short of a few percent profit over there by using the Bam Bam indicator, and the Bam Bam indicator you will find here on the products page, DD Bam Classic Indicator, that's the information and indicator packages, that is the packages that you can buy. Again, the GT Guard is the one that you can get for free if you walk through five steps. Always do remember that I trade on Bybit. So click the link down below the video to uh, go to Bybit and to claim $30 for free because you just joined it. And then you can claim up to $30,000 US dollar in bonuses for depositing Bitcoins. Now, we slowly zoom out now to the beautiful day chart. And on a day chart, we've been telling you, I've been telling you, um, like there is a golden cross upcoming. And that golden cross happened over there. And at that moment, the Bitcoin price came down a little bit. The yellow line is a line that I drew like way before that I told you guys, yes, when we break that dotted white line, we will go up, probably retest that line again before we continue the trend. And that bull um, cross, that, that, that golden cross should be the accelerator for to go up and break that 24K level. Now, we are pulling back a little bit. And now the question is, are we going to continue and try one more time to break the 24K and to go to higher highs like around 29K? Or are we going to be finding resistance and just really come down, 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 down here to the 21K700 to retest that support line over there and then take off to the new high of 24K or 29K, you know, whatever there is in the charts and in the volume at that point in Bitcoin. Now, if we zoom out a little bit more, bam, to the weekly, um, we can see the same. Yes, I told you guys there, that's a new high. We have the bottom, this is the new high. After a new high, it will become a common higher low. We have a bottom and we need to have a higher low. So Bitcoin always moves. I, don't, I hope you still remember that I told you this. Up and we come to a new higher low. And we go up again and a higher low and up like that something. Now, and that is exactly what we are um, seeing at the moment at the chart. We are finding that high. We are pulling back a little bit, probably to that dollar Y line around 20,000, 21K. And then again, go up to make new higher highs. Don't look at the time frame. I'm just showing you how it's built up from a bear market, lower lows, lower lows, lower lows, to a bull market. Bottom, higher low, higher low, higher lows. That's not time frame correct, but just how it, it's built in the future, in my opinion. Now, there is a really cool chart that somebody sent me um, by DM in Twitter, and it is this one. Um, it's called CBBI, and it's combining a lot of um, indicators at the same time. So we have the, the Pi Cycle Top, the NUPL, the, the RHODL, the PUL, the two-year moving average, all of these combined um, show you a beautiful chart that you can see over here. Now, maybe I can zoom in a little bit on the chart, and it's big, bigger on the screen. Um, and let me see where my fat fist is. I will put my fat fist somewhere else here, beautifully in the top. Now, here on this um, chart, you can see something really beautiful. So 
this blue line over here, there's the CBBI confidence. And that confidence at the moment is around 15, 14, 15. The last time we were at that level, 14, 15, is here in uh, 2019 when we did the run from 3K to 14K. And the time before that we were at that level is over there, here, just before the bull run in 2017. So this indication of the point that we are now, for me, is again the confirmation that the bear market bottom is in and that we are in that bull market. Can it be a push like 2019, like 3K to 14K and back to 6K or 5K? Yes, all possible. We could go up and with the Bitcoin price to 40K and come down again to 25K and then continue the bull market. But for me, that 15,600 at the moment is the bear market bottom, which is amazing. Now, um, if you want to know more about the chart, then just pause it because you can see all the rainbow the, the, the colors that is displaying the Bitcoin price using the CBI score for the color of each point, um, zero to 100. So 100, the reds, that is like sell, 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 red, sell, that's top. Here, orange to red, sell. And the dark greens, that's buying. That's like now need, you need to be buying because that's exactly what the chart shows you. Every time again, when we are dark green, you should be buying. And from that moment, when we reach levels of um, like almost 70 to 90 of the blue line, the CBBI line, then you should be selling again and you should be buying between the levels 0 and 10. It's the bear market bottom. Really cool chart. Now, let's quickly jump in two more charts to show you something really um, beautiful bam over here this is the first one and um, this is the drawdowns in bitcoin on this chart you can see how big the drawdowns have been in bitcoin and how big they are at the moment uh, you can see that we are now at a drawdown around 66 percent we were here at 76 percent um, and we can see before we were even at 85 percent after the uh, bull market and we have been here around 80 percent of the bull market as well here even a drawdown of more than 90 percent so uh, we can see that the drawdowns are decreasing maybe i can show you better by drawing a line so for example if i start here with that drawdown and then you see we are like decreasing in drawdowns it's not like a weird thing that is happening so yes and um, this is very beautiful to see that also this chart is showing us yeah the bear market could be in and then i think there is one more thing that is very important for you guys to see and it is the last chart bam it is a screenshot i found it on twitter probably the twitter handle is somewhere down below uh, in this chart and uh, let me see yeah, I think it's Wicked or Satoshi's Journal, one of those. But this one is showing you that Bitcoin will only get more scarce, more difficult to mine and more valuable over time. You can see from the dark blue to the lighter blue, even more lighter blue and lightless blue over here. Uh, that's the uh, mined supply. At the moment, we have 19,281,000 Bitcoins that are mined at the moment. Uh, you can see that uh, along that time, the difficulty only rose. It will became more difficult to mine Bitcoins and the price went up with that as well. And now we have the difficulty in the log scale. We can see that it's almost the same scale, uh, the same growth as the mine supply was doing and also as the price lock was doing. So so yes, there is a correlation between those. And for me, that line will be continuing upwards, not as steep as the beginning. Yes, we see a little bit of regression, but that doesn't mean that we are not going up still. So for me, beautiful chart, uh, pause the video and see everything for yourself if you uh, want to see uh, understand more about it. But really great chart to understand why Bitcoin will go up in value again and again and again. Now, bam, that was everything. Short but powerful. And yes, I will be making more family videos and uh, maybe two to three times still a TA video like this because I don't think it's necessary to keep making TA videos every day um, as a lot of people are doing it already. And in my opinion, you should be buying Bitcoin every day dollar cost average because at the end you should be treating bitcoin as your core capital not dollar not euro it should be always bitcoin and when you need dollar or euro or thai baht you exchange a little bit of bitcoin to that value to that currency that you will want to use for that moment and then if you have left bam change it back to bitcoin bitcoin deflationary always going up in average and the oldest ones euros and dollars always going down inflationary every time your life becomes more expensive because of inflation so that is why you should treat bitcoin Bitcoin as your core capital and that's why you should be buying Bitcoin every day in my opinion now but that's not financial advice it's just a guy who has been living this life already for seven years and thinks he's right now thank you for watching if you did enjoy it give it a thumbs up share with your friends subscribe to the channel hit the notification and leave a comment thank you and see you tomorrow again bam